How does an array show multiplication? We can learn how by using these swimming medals. Dana keeps her swimming medal collection in a display on the wall. The display has four rows. Each row has five medals. How many medals are in Dana's collection? The medals are in an array. How does an array show equal groups? An array shows objects in equal rows and columns. Each row in an array has an equal number of objects in it. The counters show four rows and five columns. Each row is a group of five. You can use addition or skip counting to find the total. Since there are four rows with five counters, we add five plus five plus five plus five equals 20. Skip counting, 5, 10, 15, 20. Five. Five plus five equals 10. Five plus five plus five equals 15. Five plus five plus five plus five equals 20. Multiplication can also be used to find the total in an array. Four is the number of rows, and five is the number in each row. You say four times five equals 20. There are 20 medals in Dana's collection. Hey, Jada. How's it going with that word problem? I'm getting there, but I could use some help. Why don't you use an array to help you solve the problem? Sounds good, but what's an array? An array shows objects in equal rows and columns. These counters show three rows and three columns. Remember, rows go across, left to right, and columns go up and down. Let's look at the problem together and create an array. Great! Jose has seven rows of apples with five apples in each row. How many apples does he have in all? Let's start by arranging the apples into seven rows. Each row will have five apples. How many apples do we have in our array? Hold on, let me count them all. Wait a minute. Because we have an array, we don't need to count them all. Instead, we can use addition or skip counting to find the total. Here's what I mean. Since each row is considered a group of five, we can add the seven groups together to get the answer. So, five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. What does that equal? That's easy. It's 35. Right. But let's double check using skip counting this time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's the same. It sure is. You know, we can also use multiplication to find the total in an array too. We can say 7, the number of rows, times 5, the number of columns, equals 35. Wow! That makes solving word problems so much easier. Sure does. Now you have a few new ways to help you solve word problems.